This woman might be the single most toxic person on the planet Earth. Certainly the most toxic game developer I've ever seen. And also the most toxic by default then female game developer I've ever seen. Miss Guild Wars 2, I hate the fans and all men who buy the game that support me and pay my salary. Jessica Price is back at it again and she's learned absolutely nothing. Before I get into that, I want to show you a brand new shirt. I'm going to leave a link in the description below. T-shirts are one of the best ways to support the channel, given how often uh, my videos cover sensitive topics or topics that YouTube uh, doesn't care for. So I've got the new Do As I Say, Not As I Do shirt, uh, both in, f in male, in soy male, and soy female versions. Uh, I think this shirt pretty much encapsulates a lot of what Miss Price uh, has to say, and it's, you know, good time to get some new shirts for upcoming summer for uh, if you're a male you want to go out there and you know slay some of the other you know, if you're a male or female and you want to slay uh, your sexual conquest of choice all these shirts or posters will help you do so anyway link in the description take a second just to look them over Miss Jessica Price is back at it again if you'll remember last when we checked in with her she was terminated by Guild Wars to Arena Net for attacking a fan who levied mild criticism. Again, another do as I say, not as I do, SJW. And she fired back up around June 11th saying, everything in Guild Wars 2 is made by a team. There's no content that's made by one person. But in terms of influence, the entire season is mine. I led the season story breaking meetings. I led the episode outline meetings. And every line of dialogue went through me. Jeez. Sounds like a great team player, the type of developer you would want on your team. A close knit must be highly effective team environment. You want somebody who's going to pipe up online and take credit for everything. That's a important trait. A bunch of content you'll be seeing is also work led by women, female team and game design leads, female writing leads, female cinematics leads. It's the best content Guild Wars 2 has produced. Well, that's your opinion. Women in this industry lead and aren't going anywhere. Well, you know, nobody who plays video games, you know how often I enjoy video games when I get time to play them. These days, I don't get as much time as I would like, but I never think about who developed that game unless they insert themselves like Mrs. Price did into my life. I don't really care. You can say it's mean. I don't, it's just the way it is. I don't care anything about the people who created the game, just like they don't care about any of my personal characteristics. We have a transactional relationship. They deliver me a game I want. I deliver them money that they need to pay their salaries and grow their company. This is the nature of our relationship. But then we saw she's back at it again this weekend. She took two weeks off. First tweet back. All right, where was I? All right. Staring in disgust at an industry that values a handful of trolls and neo-nazis and a bunch of bots more than their female talent. Now, why female talent, you say? I don't know. Uh, I, I would assume the industry hires the best talent for the job, not the best genitals for the job. Um, and you can see people respond in kind. You acted like a fool. You got called out. You made yourself look more like a fool. Played the woman card, and now your ass got fired. Um, that's probably a fair fair critique. Uh, she goes on. Whoops. Started over again. Raspberries. Going to have to dive through her terrible cancerous feed here. <clears throat> now you've got all of that, however... Uh, actually, what we want to say is do, 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 holy crap. She really spurred out yesterday. Look at all these tweets. This is insane. Okay. So given that my former employer poured blood in the water to attract the sharks and then threw me in and basically did the same thing to game devs collectively, especially the female and non-binary ones, I'm changing how I do Twitter. I've turned off notifications for anyone I don't follow. 
Given that my notifications are mostly how I interact with Twitter, if I don't follow you, I'm not likely going to see your responses. If you're someone I know, you can find other means to contact me. Well, that's a good policy. You probably should have done that before attacking uh, a beloved content creator, a uh, supporter of your game, someone who directly influences your ability to get paid for a job. Now, if I had just been fired over Twitter bullshit, I'd probably take a break from social media. But these people never, and I mean never, see themselves as doing anything wrong. Or to put it more clearly for the trolls, have fun screaming into the void, kids. Hmm. People I follow you, people I follow, if there's someone you think I should be following, feel free to DM me. Nah, I'll just laugh and point at your tweets, Jessica Price. Anyway, ArenaNet's continued refusal to condemn the increase in harassment they've subjected numerous women to in the industry is pretty telling. Um... What? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure that they have any responsibility to do that. Um, it seems like you, Jessica Price, are the one stirring up the hornet's nest. I know it's hard for companies to find the spine to take controversial moral stands. Really? They didn't have a problem firing your ass. <laughs> but you'd think, hey, stop threatening uh, to kill female devs, their families and their pets would be, you know, low-hanging fruit. Yeah, everyone needs the game development companies that they follow for information on their game developing to take spurious, non-factual claims of harassment by a fired former employee. Like they want to take, uh, you know, take the spotlight off the game they make and, you know, do that. Of course, if I were going to issue a tweet like this, I probably would have included a screenshot or some sort of evidence, but clearly we know they're never really interested in proving what they're saying. And my understanding is that their internal response to this has been to institute a more restrictive social media policy. Yes! That's what I'm talking about, Arena Net. Rein your employees in. They use you, they use their employment for you as a catapult for social media followers. Therefore, you have every right, in my opinion, to restrict the type of things that they say on their social media. I, if you disagree with me, that's fine. But when you represent the company, you have to handle the blowback. If you want to be that type of developer that puts the name of their company directly in their byline so they can get that precious blue check mark then you represent the company you're not getting a blue check mark because you're some random female dev you're getting it because of where you work and you're rep you're a representative of that company so make a choice you could also have an anonymous twitter like many of us do but you know that would require you not being praised <sighs> but not to institute any additional protections for those who comply. One of the larger issues here is, of course, the instance that they own 100% of their employees' time on and off work, but the promotion of the company brand as one, as one in which you can interact directly with devs. Okay, so what Jessica Price is saying here is, uh, I get to put your name, do as I say. What she's saying is, do as I say, not as I do. If only there was a beautiful new t-shirt that you could support that message for. She's saying, I'm above criticism because I get to say and do whatever I want on Twitter, especially. Now, it gets a little gray in my opinion. If let's say she had some like crazy political tweets, but not really anything violent or, you know, not anything like that. Uh, and they had like seeked it out and punished her for it. I would be a little less inclined to support that. But we're talking about a woman that interacted directly with customers and promoters of their game in a highly negative fashion. A woman that publicly throws her coworkers under the bus. A woman who publicly raises her hand and says she is 100% responsible for, well, everything her team did. Video games have a fan community that's more hostile to creators than other fan communities I'm aware of. Um, I don't find that to be true. I find that to be true of creators that go out of their way to shit on the community, but that's just me. I would never have known this woman's name or been interested in anything she had done on Guild Wars or for reading that if she hadn't been a total see you next Tuesday to some customer. I mean, how is she this out of touch? She returns to Twitter and she has learned nothing at all. 
to be very clear, I think anyone who is abusive to customer service rep is being a garbage person and needs to get smacked down hard by the company. Okay, but if you are a customer service rep for the company and you're rude to the customer, you are what? Immune? There's a realm of not necessarily overtly abusive, but exhausting behavior that kind of comes with the territory of your job description being whenever possible, make the individual customer happy through your interaction with them. Here's an option. I'm going to suggest a bold option for you, Jessica Price, to perhaps save your career because tweets don't pay you anything. Uh, digital backpats are nice, but they won't pay the rent or they won't buy you your ramen noodles that you now need to live off of because you've been fired for digital backpats. Just get rid of Twitter. You could be the most prolific game dev in the world and not be a narcissist who needs everyone to tell them so. I mean, how hard is it? If you can't control your behavior on Twitter, don't be on it. It's really not that complex. This is the same policy that DC has in place now for their artists, and I think it's working great. You don't see a lot of crazy DC artists attacks fans video, do you? You see it coming out of Marvel. The fact that your average video game company wants and pressures its creative staff to be out there directly engaging with the customers and expects that engagement to proceed as creative staff or customer service reps is bullshit. Um, can you show me any evidence that you were told you had to interact with people on Twitter? Again, this woman is insane and it would even, it would be bullshit. Even if the game's fan base weren't notoriously riddled with aggressive misogyny, racism, etc. But of course the standards for how female and male devs are allowed to behave are different. Yeah. You get way more leeway. How clueless can you be? How utterly clueless can you be? Well, I guess you could get this t-shirt and wear it around and not know. <laughs> you are one of the most sexist people I've ever seen on Twitter, uh, lumping all male video game fans in and calling them misogynists. This woman, you've got employees personal accounts. And if you, as someone whose job isn't customer service, you shouldn't have to perform customer service duties. How about don't put where you work on your social media profile? I mean, you could do that, right? You're complaining about TV writers and movie writers who don't have to do this. Uh, I couldn't tell you a writer on a show I watch on TV. I don't care. The only time I care about them is when they're attacking the fandom. I couldn't have told you who was directing that new Spider-Man cartoon movie, but I did find out his name because he's a supporter of Antifa and he's a far left crazy person. And let's see what, what this totally sane person has now changed her bio to, by the way. Game producer, writer, editor, howling maynad, fired from ArenaNet and Paizo for refusal to act like I'm men's property. I won't play demure for you. Block often. Gee, this reads like the perfect anti-cover letter for your next resume, Jessica Price. I think you should get... This printed on a shirt. You should definitely send this out to everyone you know looking to hire somebody who's going to make their company look bad. Maybe one day you'll wake up, but I think the damage is done. You are now untouchable in this industry, and I wish you the best of luck working part-time at Starbucks. Hey, at least you still get health insurance. Thank you.